Hi everybody, welcome to Kids Continued. We are continuing in our series on the parables and this week we are going to be having a look at what forgiveness looks like when you're in the kingdom of God. So we are looking at Matthew chapter 18 from verse 21. Now when that passage starts, Peter is asking Jesus how much we must forgive people or how many times we must forgive people and he says seven times. And Jesus says, more like 70 times 7 times. I don't know how great you are at maths, but that's 490 times. Now, 490 times, that's a lot. And I don't know how you would keep track of that. Like, do you have to have a little notebook and write down every time you've forgiven someone to keep track of that? It's a lot. But Jesus goes on to tell us a story, a parable, to help explain what that means. Now we hear about a king who is going to collect all his debts. So collect all the people who owe him money. And one of his servants comes up and this king is going to put this man in prison because he owes a lot of money. Okay, he owes 10,000 talents. Now I'm going to do some maths just now to help you understand how much that is. But 10,000 talents is a lot of money. So you can understand why the king wanted to put him in prison. Now this man begged and pleaded and he said, please, please don't do this. I'm really sorry. I'm going to try my best to try and get the money back to you. And this king had mercy and he showed pity on this man and he cancelled the debt. So he didn't have to pay it back anymore. And he must have been really relieved. Like, phew, oh my gosh, that would have taken me forever to pay back. But this man, instead of being overwhelmed with gratefulness and being thankful for it, he went on his way and when he came across someone who owed him money and only a little bit of money, we're told it's about a hundred denarii and that's not that much compared to how much he owed. He was really angry and he was hostile and aggressive towards this man and he was put him in jail. He had him thrown into jail until he could pay the debt back. Now, for someone who was just forgiven a huge amount of money, this man wasn't really grateful. And there were other servants that saw what he did. And they went and told the king. And the king was not impressed. He told him that I have just forgiven you for your debt, but you couldn't forgive someone else. And he put this man in prison then. And it makes a lot of sense. So we're going to do some maths quickly. Just bear with me, okay? So the hundred denarii that the servant was owed from another servant, okay? As they are working, they would earn about 300 denarii in a year. So 100 denarii was a third of their payment, okay? Now, to get from denarii to talents, okay? to know how much this first servant owed the king, okay? If they earned 300 denarii in a year, he would have to work for 20 years to get to 6,000 denarii, which is one talent. 20 years just to get to one talent, and he owed 10,000 talents. So that was about 200,000 years of work he would have to do in order to pay the king back. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't think he would have lived all that long. So he owed so much money, he wouldn't have been alive to pay it back. And the king forgave him for that debt. And he couldn't do the same for someone who owed less. So in this parable, God is talking about how we need to forgive others. So when he says, forgive them 70 times 70, forgive them 490 times it sounds quite ridiculous like why would you keep track of it you're not supposed to keep track of it you're supposed to forgive them and it's a really big number because that is how God has forgiven us he's forgiven us huge debts huge sin huge mistakes that we have made remember Jesus paid the price to save us from sin so how can we now go and hold a grudge 
or be angry and not forgive someone else. Now this can be tough sometimes because people really hurt us. Maybe it's something when you're playing with a friend and they're not sharing things with you or they're not talking to you or they maybe even say something ugly, okay? They've hurt your feelings and you don't want to forgive them even when they apologize. Now, that may be something small or it could be something really big where someone's broken your trust or really hurt you. Now, it's hard to forgive people, but Jesus tells us to forgive people because he has forgiven us and he has helped cancel the debt that we owe, the punishment that we would have taken. He died on the cross and took that punishment for us. So it can be quite tough, but we need to look to forgive other people just as God has forgiven us. Maybe there's some people in your life that you can think of that you need to forgive. And it can be tough, but we pray and we ask God for his help and to help us to see that this person is a person and everybody does make mistakes. But we can still show love to them and forgiveness just as God has done to us. I hope you guys have a great week. I'm going to put some verses on up after this for you to look up and see some other passages. So have a wonderful week. Bye guys. Bye.